the Gator ATV. Hold up, man. I got something to say. Man, we back at it again. I know I've been gone for a minute, you know, and I do apologize. Give me one second. Hold on. I should turn this on. Oh, no. Yeah, I should turn it on a minute ago. Oh, there we go. We're gonna keep it authentic. I'm not gonna edit out the mess up, none of that. Like I just messed up, y'all seen it. I'm gonna keep it real with you. Cause I'm a real dude. Um, so anyway, I know that I haven't been, I've been MIA for a minute or whatever. <clears throat> but man, we gonna get back at it. I know I'm supposed to do the indictment, but excuse me. This is gonna be too good to pass up. It's some lady, Ashley. Her name is Ashley, um, shit, I can't even remember her last name. Uh, anywho, Ashley Parham is accusing Benny of something, a foul lawsuit. And we're going to get into it. We're we going to get into it right now because this, this is like breaking news. It just happened. Um, I think it was CNN that covered it. Was it CNN? Uh, yeah, I believe it was CNN that covered it. And they literally like read the whole thing lie uh so before i get into it i want to let everyone know this is going to be very triggering it's going to involve rape the word rape so if, if you're triggered by if you're triggered by any of this please get off the video right now because this is going to be uncensored uh i'm not even going to like I'm, I'm gonna try my best not to make any humor out of this because this is very serious like this dude needs to hang um like at first I thought it was, you know, I was making fun of it, you know, being funny and cracking jokes, but I don't think what I'm getting ready to read to you guys right now is funny. I don't think any jokes to be cracked about it. Um, I think this 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 dude needs to needs to fucking hang for this shit. And yes, like always, we drinking together. So y'all know what y'all know what we do. When we when I bring you this content, everybody need to have their glass and we need to bottom up. Mm. So let's get into it. Alright, Sean Diddy Combs, gang raped. I told you, and you got triggers, get off this, get off right now. Sean Diddy Combs, gang raped woman as payback after she claimed he was involved in Tupac Shakur's murder. This nigga raped her because she told him that she believes he was involved in Tupac Shakur's murder. Sean Diddy Combs allegedly Y'all always gotta say that allegedly, violently, violently gang raped a woman to pay for a diss she made claiming the rapper was involved with Tupac Shakur's murder. According to a new lawsuit filed against the embattled music mogul, Combs is accused of sexual assault and battery, abuse, false imprisonment, and kidnapping of a California resident back in March 2018. According to the suit filed in Northern California Federal Court on Tuesday. This was yesterday. Yesterday. So this this ain't old. This is brand new. Man. What 50 say? What what he told what he tell me did the other day? They smell blood in the water, man. Them sharks is about to come. He paid cash of that money, he opened the floodgates for everybody else to open him up. The lawsuit claims. The lawsuit claims the rapper, with the help of several unknown accomplices, used a TV remote to rape the accuser. Navigator ATV, hold up, man. I got something to say. So I listened to the um, the CNN lady, news reporter, talk about this, and she had told See how I read the entire lawsuit, right? Um, I think I might put a link to that on the video. But apparently, you know, one of Sean's friends met the lady somewhere and he he uh he FaceTime Diddy to like impress her. And she was like, I'm not impressed, I'm not impressed. And, and I feel like he was involved in Tupac's murder. And then he told her on FaceTime that she's gonna pay for what she said, right? So I'm not a victim blamer, but at that point she should just left. But no, she went to the room with Diddy's friend. And then Diddy shows up. 
and he like throws on the bed. They start taking the clothes off, and he baby oil. He throws baby oil on her, and they commence to butt fucking her. Like they literally ain't no raped her. Even one second, shut my door. Thank you. And proceeded to anal rape her. There's like four people that anally raped her. But we're going to continue. I'm going to put a link to that video in this video. Parham had allegedly virtually met Combs during a FaceTime call started by a man she had met outside a bar in February 2018 in an attempt to impress people with his famous friends. I just said that according to the court papers. Parham shared she wasn't impressed with the man knowing Combs as she believed Diddy had something to do with Tupac's murder. Combs reportedly heard the remark and said she would pay for her statement and overall dismissal of defendant Diddy. I just told y'all all that. Uh, on March 23rd, oh wow, that's four days after my birthday. Parham was invited to the man's house in Orinda, California to help with his cancer medication. Navigator ATV, hold up, man. I got something to say. This nigga got cancer and he raping bitches? Why is you on your deathbed with cancer and you still doing devilish shit? You should be like... Trying to help as many people as you can so you can get to heaven, brother. What the fuck is wrong with you? What's his name? He has a name. His they said his name in that CNN broadcast. But that's fucked up. Nigga, you 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 battling a cancer and still raping bitches? Or helping bitches get raped? And, and excuse me for saying bitches, but I I'm just saying. Like, uh, like I said, she should just love. But I mean it is what it is. He set her up thinking she was going to help with the cancer. So, is he a nurse? Is she a nurse? I don't know. Why are you helping with cancer medication if you're not a nurse? I need to know if she's a nurse. Somebody find out right now if she's a registered nurse. That right there would give me holes in the story right there. I, if I was a defense attorney, I would use that to pick holes in this case. Why are you helping with cancer medication if you're not a nurse or a doctor? I'm not biased. I'm just, I'm, I'm saying what it is. I'm, I'm calling a spade a spade. Why the fuck you? What's your professional opinion? Did you go to school for this shit? I'm just saying, if I was a defense attorney, that'd be, my, that, that'd be one of my defenses right there. What the fuck she means she was helping with cancer medication? Show me her doctorate. Show me something that she's qualified to help with cancer medication. But let's go. And I'm not blaming her. I'm just saying. I I'm keeping it real. If I was a defense attorney, I would be questioning it. Anyway, Combs approached Parham with a knife, held it to her face, and threatened to give her a Glasgow smile. A Glasgow uh, smile. I never heard that term, but I heard of buck fifties. So... I don't know if it's like like the Joker. I, I'm gonna have to Google. That. Matter of fact, let's just Google that. Let's Google Glasgow smile. Give me one second. Oops. Oh my god. I am messing up. Ooh. Here we go. The grisly history of a I hope I'm pronouncing that right. The grisly history of a glass the torture method devised by Scotland's early game. I'm gonna just I'm just gonna just, just, just scroll through this. I'm gonna see a picture of what it looks like. But they they probably not gonna show you what, what, what it looks like. There we go. There we go. So that's what, I guess they cut you from here or here, like the Joker or whatever, but I, I heard it as a buck 50. You know, they cut you right here, give you a snitch, something like that, but okay. Uh, so that's what a glass gal smile looks like. You see that? So, um, 
I'm gonna have to edit out some stuff because I think I have my email in there. But okay, so let's get back to it. Okay. Uh, there we go. The large cuts on both sides of the mouth. There we go. So he's gonna give her a Joker smile. Uh, among the several defendants named in the suit is Christina Quorum. 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 Combs alleged manipulator in chief. In other words, his enabler, his handler. Who allegedly called off the rapper's knife advancement, saying the smile, I'm not gonna say the glass gals, I don't know what I'm saying right, would be turn would be a turnoff to potential clients that can sell par him to the suit. That 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 they can sell par him to. Damn, they was planning on enslaving this bitch? Oh my god. Diddy, what the fuck was you into, my brother? Corham is accused of assisting Cone's predatory behavior by setting up Parham to be sexually assaulted and raped by defendant Diddy, as well as assisting in covering up the crime thereafter. Combs allegedly proceeded to squirt a bottle of oil, lubricant. We all know that's baby oil. This nigga has a, has a fucking fetish with baby oil. I covered that in, I think that was one of my first videos, actually. If y'all don't know, I'm going to put the description. Well, I'm going to put the link to it in this video. But y'all covered the whole baby oil shit in the first one. As she had her clothes removed by the rapper and the man she met at the bar. He then allegedly began violently raping Parham with a television remote. Navigator ATV, hold up, man. I got something to say. There's nothing funny about that. Um, but if I had to say anything about it, I, I would say that he did that as a power trip. Um, this man is really a sick individual and he deserves everything that's coming to him I honestly believe he has something to do with Tupac's work um, that's why is what you act like this because someone said that to you and then you proceed to violate them in this way I hope you never I hope you Diddy and the 30 other fucking nicknames that you have I hope you never see the light of day again and I hope and if you do end up seeing the light of day I hope as soon as you step out them gate somebody puts a fucking bullet in your head that's what you deserve. He then allegedly began violently raping Parham with the television remote, threatening her by saying her life was in his hands and he could take her and never be seen again. C alleges she was then raped by three of the four men inside the apartment before Diddy left and instructed the fourth man to do the same. But not before John Doe 1 used Parham's body like a slip and slide. Navigator ATV, hold up, man. I got something to say. How do you use somebody's body to slip and slide? They will torture this woman mentally and physically. Corinne, that's the lady that Diddy's assistant, 
will turn into an immobile part of him. So I guess he, he was ripped so much he couldn't move no more. Uh, and it forced her to swallow an unknown pill. After the alleged assault, Parham was treated at a hospital and had and had a rape, rape kit performed. During the subsequent investigation, Parham alleges he initially told Contra Costa Sheriff's Office he had been raped by Combs, but claims it was ignored by authorities. She didn't provide Combs' name and follow-up statements and reports filed with Walnut Creek Police and the Orinda Police Department. Parham says she left the rapper's name out fearing she would be ignored and or would be further harmed by defendant Diddy if he discovered she named him to the police. She claimed elsewhere in the suit that Combs had tried to offer her money to stay quiet and not report the alleged rape. She is suing Combs, Corum, and several other defendants and seeking 50 million in damages in a jury trial. Navigator ATV, hold up, man. I got something to say. I think she's gonna get the 50. It's too much else, something didn't happen. Um, I don't know, man. Like, this is what happens when, when you get money and you think you're in touch when you do stuff like this. And shame on anyone who knew about this. Oh, apparently he recorded it too. When the other guy was raping her, like they angrily raped her. They fucked her in the ass. Uh, when the other guy was raping her, Diddy was sitting in the chair next to the bed and he was jacking off, watching it and recording it. Uh, man, I, I really don't even want to cover this guy no more because it, 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 it's making me so mad. That he was able to get away with this for years and years and years. Um, but karma is a bitch. Karma is a bitch. And this nigga deserves everything that's coming in. Everything. And I hope she gets her 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 um I hope she gets justice. Because if she experienced that, you just imagine what Cassie experienced for 10 years. It's a damn shame. It's a dirty world we live in. And people with power, they get away with the darnest things. Uh, I, I just wanted to come in and talk about this, man. Um, it's terrible. And I'm going to link the actual video so y'all can hear what the lady had to say, the CNN lady, I don't even know her name. I, I just listened to it and, and yeah. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. Like, this dude, he's a terrible, terrible person. Terrible person. And whatever happens to him, he deserves it. That's all I got to say. I can't even be humorous about this. This is pitiful. This, this is terrible but y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think and we'll catch you on the next one peace Gator ATV. Hold up, man. I got something to say.